YC. I hope you're well. Pastor Daniel here. I'm going to take you for a little walk with me um, this day as we uh, connect this morning. I get the privilege this week to uh, bring you God's devotion, uh, to our devotional time. And as I go through uh, just time, uh, this time with us, this morning or this day or this afternoon, I wanted to talk a little bit about the other part of God's will for us. So the last time we spoke about uh, God's will that all people will be saved. And today I want to talk about God's will that all people will be sanctified. Uh, that God has not only called us to salvation, but he's called us to sanctification. Uh, and now you know this, uh, that as we uh, talked about on Sunday, sanctification is a cute word just for saying being holy or being set apart. Uh, sanctification and holiness are the same words used in the Bible, hagios in the Greek and kadosh uh, in, the, um, uh, in the Hebrew. My Hebrew professor would laugh at my pronunciation right there. Um, but essentially, it is this ongoing life process that as we walk with the Lord, this ongoing process of being conformed to the image of God. It is being set apart for the purpose of God, for the presence of God, so God can use you. And so, friends, as we think about that, many of us have been in the faith for many years. And if we're honest, we have not matured. Uh, we've not grown. Uh, we are stagnant in our understanding of God, our understanding of ourselves, our, our understanding of our world um, and our understanding of our impact in it. And so as we think through that, I wanted to encourage us and maybe even ask the question and the encouragement is, are you sanctified? Now, these are my little kiddos as I do this video. Say hi to the folks, guys. I'm doing a good morning videos. These hi. are part of my sanctification hi. process. God bless you. Go, go love on mom. Okay. But the question that I have for you is, are you sanctified? Yeah. Are you sanctified? Um, are you set apart for God's purpose? Are you maturing in your faith? Or are you stagnant? Look at your life and is your life more... Uh, is your life more in alignment with the way the world lives or is it more in alignment with the way God has called you? And so that's the question uh, for me, even as a pastor, the process of sanctification is an ongoing process. Um, you do not get saved or become a pastor and then stop being sanctified. That's just not how it works. In fact, I would argue that the, long, the longer you walk with the Lord, the closer you are with the Lord, the harder it is to stay sanctified because the world pulls on us with all these um, notions of who we should be, who we're meant to be. Uh, and so as we walk through life, let's keep asking that question. Am I sanctified? Am I set apart? Am I fulfilling and pursuing the purpose of God? So that's my question. Here's my encouragement. Would I encourage you this year to partner with someone else um, in their spiritual maturity? Uh, this is a partnership. This is, this is a community who we're supposed to mend to hold each other. Would I encourage you to please partner with someone and be sanctified with them, helping their sanctifying process, helping their process of walking to be more and more like Christ? Well, folks, uh, short little time this morning, uh, pithy truth. Uh, the Lord's will for us is that we be saved, yes, but also that we be sanctified, uh, that we be set apart for his purpose to do his will. And so my encouragement is, would you pursue sanctification, not just for you, but for other people, help them in their maturity, build them up in their most holy faith. And I pray that God will be with you, God keep you, and see you soon. Say bye, folks. Bye. Happy New Year to all of you, and God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye.